So uh, you know, let's talk about point shooting a little bit. Well, yeah, it's it's part of I I don't separate it out. Okay. And okay. so I start off with uh, kinesthetic aiming. So that? aiming without any visual reference to the gun. Right. So right. You just you're just pointing, get your body position locked in. Okay, yeah. So I now shut up. I don't have to what. What I teach is that from the time you make support hand contact right. all the way up, all the way until you're out at your final shooting position, yeah. your, uh, your aiming is being constantly refined, but at certain distances, you can put effective rounds on target from here. Right. That makes, it makes sense if you're, you know, if everything is lined. Yeah. Right. Lined up. So we've got kinesthetic aiming then as the gun comes up into uh when we're standing 10 degrees below horizontal there's a cone mm -hmm. uh, we can start aiming using either the frame of the gun or the frame of an optic the frame of a red dot so and see the relationship between the gun and the target and aim just based on that then the third thing is either front sight or dot on target mm -hmm. and then the last is front sight or dot on a specific spot on the target okay and if you use that progression mm -hmm. you get both point shooting and aim shooting as a skill huh okay because a lot again obviously you know there's like it's either or a lot in the in the gun world in the tactical gun world right so putting together and again it's just eventually so you're getting you're eventually getting to aiming and it's you know everything is like okay it's reactionary you're drawing and you're you know there's proactive like just same thing in self-defense i like i like to i look at self-defense firearms it's like the same to me it's the same right as far as your mm -hmm. mindset you know there's proactive and reactive shooting there's proactive and reactive self-defense so you're reacting, you're drawing, and there's your threat, and you're coming out, and you're putting your, your rounds in. So you're point shooting, point shooting, point shooting, and then aim shooting, right? Is it, am I getting that correct? Hey, yeah. The, so the way that it works out, there's a couple of different tr transitions. One would be I'm here, mm -hmm. and I'm too close to extend, so right. I'm going to put the first couple of rounds on – target using point shooting until I buy myself the time and space to right. bring the gun out to full extension. Right. The other is I'm going to point because I cannot get my eye to focus on the front sight or I cannot make myself see the dot, even if it's there because so, I am so focused on the threat and, but I want to train myself to be able to come back to it. I noticing like you're coming up to center part of your chest you know, to the center of your chest and, and working out from there, correct? Yeah, what it is, is uh, directly under the dominant eye. So for for you, uh, what you do is turn your head slightly so that your yep. dominant eye is lined up with your center line and you yep. bring the pistol to your center line. Uh, okay. And the reason for that is under stress, it's harder to do things across the midline. Right, agreed. It's, you know, it's interesting because even like with our, you know, even our primary, you know, it's called uh, sh striking methods, the strikes are blocks in our world, right? So it's like, you don't block and strike, you're, you know, you're hitting and if it's, it's a block as a strike that got jammed, like that's it. So we're drawing and we're point shooting, like we're getting that weapon on target as fast as possible. And then you're, you know, aligning it you're indexing it with your center line and your dominant eye and then you're bringing it up and eventually you're getting into you know your you know your aiming mm -hmm. okay. all right i mean and we're doing so that we're doing that in the videos anyway we're doing that the practice protocol anyway i mean yeah. that's just part that's just in there right it's in there yeah it definitely so the reason why it's so important to not just do point shooting is because point shooting depends on your visual system, your vestibular system, and your 
hand-eye coordination or pro your proprioceptive system right. all being calibrated and integrated. And right. if you've just taken a, a blow to the head, mm -hmm. uh, they aren't going to be. In fact, most people, most of the time, their senses are not integrated. And this really came to the forefront in the last few years with the advent of gesture activated appliances. And hmm. money has actually gone into how accurately people can point. Hmm. And what study after study has found is people do not point accurately. Huh. Interesting. So if you, if, <clears throat> Let me back into this. So if you go to a point shooting class, mm -hmm. it's very, very common at the end of a half day, at the end of a full day, you're going to be able to shoot shotgun shells, the, the holes, mm -hmm. or even nine millimeter casings uh, without using your sights. Okay. And what you're doing is over the course of hundreds of reps, you are integrating the visual system balance and hand-eye coordination right but that does not transfer over to cold real world performance where you're not warmed up and you haven't had those 100 reps totally understand that with what we do with the, the yeah self-defense 100 percent. yeah we, so that's why yes pointing is good if you can if you have shown yourself that you can put hits on target cold but you want to be able to transition to a more refined form of aiming. Right. You don't want to like point shooting is again, to get you to buy yourself some time where you can acquire the target visually. Right. I yeah. mean, it's really, it's a transition. It's not a, it's not the end. Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Cause uh, yeah. So the beginning of James Bond, you know, yeah, he's, you know, he's coming out one hand shooting, but uh, he should be finishing <laughs> with his both because it's always that quintessential, you know, Fairburn pose uh -huh. with the single gun, you know, the say, you know, the single hand, and yeah. So, all right, yeah, good stuff. All right, cool, man. So, yeah, excellent. So again, thanks again, man. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Awesome, awesome stuff. This was great. I'm glad we. Uh, I'm glad we got this down too. Awesome. Awesome. All right, cool, dude. I'll, um, I'll let you know when it goes up and, uh, you know, we'll work from there. And then we also have, um,